Within 60 days of becoming prime minister, I will launch a tax reform task force. Oh, worse than that. This is where it gets really crazy. He's giving out rebates for people to buy Chinese-made cars. So Thank you very much to the great workers of Stelco. The great workers of our oldest steel plant. Here they are. The greatest workers in the world in this 115-year-old plant. Four generations, over a century, workers from around the world came to call Canada home. And when they arrived in Hamilton, they were given a chance to work making steel. Now, all these years later, these workers continue to galvanize and cool roll that steel. They bring it to the market in countless different products that Canadians take for granted. They built this city. They built the hammer with their hard work. They are the backbone of our nation. We used to have a promise in Canada. Here was the deal. Hard work got you a powerful paycheck that bought an affordable, food, affordable home and food in safe neighborhoods. That deal, like everything else, after nine years of Justin Trudeau is broken. Inflation is at a 40-year high. Housing costs have doubled nationwide and tripled in Hamilton. It's now impossible for your standard manufacturing job to pay enough to buy a home in most major markets. Housing costs have risen faster in the last nine years in Canada than in any other G7 country, and they're almost twice as high as in the neighboring United States towns. Crime, chaos, drugs, and disorder are rampant in our streets. And you would think that the NDP would be outraged by this. They used to stand up for the working men and women, but nope, they've signed on. Jagmeet Singh is delaying the election until next year when he qualifies for a pension. $2.2 million paid for by these hardworking people. Sell out Singh has betrayed these workers. He's, he gets his pension. Trudeau gets power. These workers get the bill. Now, Trudeau's policies have gotten even worse. He's bringing in a 61 cent a liter carbon tax. That will add up to $300 million in costs for this plant alone, bleeding more of our jobs and paychecks to other countries around the world. As a result, Canada's middle class is now far poorer than the United States. We have the slowest growing economy in the OECD. Our economy has shrunk more than any other G7 country, most of which have actually grown. The carbon tax is killing $25 billion a year of wages and other benefits for families. And he's blocking resource projects so oil, gas, and mining production go to dirty dictatorships rather than coming here to Canada. Meanwhile, the Communist Party in Beijing, which Justin Trudeau says he admires so much, is exploiting weak labor and environmental standards to produce artificially cheap steel, aluminum, and EVs that create more pollution. They have stolen technology from Western countries, limited access to global supply chains, and have massively subsidized steel, aluminum, and EV industries. They're doing this with the goal of crushing our steel, our aluminum, and our Automo automotive production and taking our jobs away. Trudeau has failed to protect our workers against this economic predation. In fact, he's refused to match U.S. tariffs on Chinese-made electric vehicles. The U.S. first introduced tariffs to counteract Chinese-made vehicles years ago, and other tariffs have now been in place for six years. Meanwhile, Trudeau has done nothing to protect our workers and our jobs. Worse than that, this is where it gets really crazy. He's giving out rebates for people to buy Chinese-made cars. So let's get this straight. Justin Trudeau and Sellout Singh want to give taxpayer-funded subsidies for buying 
Chinese-made cars, while they impose tax penalties on the manufacturing of Canadian-made cars. No wonder hundreds of billions of dollars have left our country and are creating jobs in other countries. Canada's workers are the best in the world. They deserve powerful paychecks and a prime minister who will protect them. Rather than allowing authoritarian overseas governments to steal our jobs with their low labor standards and poor environmental policies, we're going to bring home those paychecks to Canada. Bring home our jobs. Thank you. And that is why common sense conservatives are calling for the introduction of a 100% tariff on made in China EVs entering Canada. Two, a 50% tariff on semiconductors and solar cells. Three, a 25% tariff on steel and aluminum, graphite, and other critical minerals, EV batteries, battery parts, permanent magnets, and ship to shore cranes. And four, the cancellation of taxpayer funded rebates for Chinese made vehicles. A common sense conservative government will also repeal C69, the anti resource law, and replace it with a new law that, yes, protects the environment and consults First Nations, but also gets projects approved so that we can dig the mines, build the pipelines, produce the clean Canadian natural gas, and turn dollars for dictators into paychecks for our people in this country. Bring it home. Within 60 days of becoming Prime Minister, I will launch a tax reform task force to design for me a bring it home tax cut. That will be a tax cut on work, investment, and making stuff in Canada. We want this to be the best place in the world to invest in a new steel mill, dig a new mine, hire another worker. We will bring home powerful paychecks and production to this country. Very simply, when you look around here at this amazing coiled steel, the best products in the world, we want these products made by our workers on our land under our flag. That is what it means to bring it home. Thank you very much. Good.